Right. Do you feel like the area has a drug and alcohol problem? Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Oh, mate, look at us. <laughs> Six percent up. Six percent up. If I came in here hypothetically wanting to buy drugs on a scale of one to ten, how I'll easy would it be? Yeah? I'd sell you drugs straight Two away, easy. bro. Yeah, you want a care? Pardon? You want a care? Nah, I'll be all right, thanks. Yeah, he's got school to do, bro. He's a bachelor kid, you know what I mean? All right, you guys Doing the per- degrees and that. Yeah, sure. Right? Shush. Yeah, what are you, you guys have any personal experiences about the area that you'd like to share with us? Uh, not yet, because it's chats. my first time here. <laughs> That's okay. I'll be able to tell you it's like later on today or tomorrow at some heaps point. If I like, wreck some cunt or stab yeah. some cunt, maybe. Cunt's bashing cabbies. Sorry, heaps love. Chats. About the vulgar. <laughs> the vanities. Is that it? Scale of 1 to 10, how easy would it be to acquire drugs? Come out to me, I'll get you what you want. How do you feel about the term Ballarats? I don't want it. Do you feel like women are treated differently in this area than men? Uh, they're actually more protected than the males. My name is Lee Hogg. My occupation is a disability pensioner and home duties. How do you feel about the term male rats? It's not good because they hang around the male and they shouldn't, they should get a job. Do you feel like the area has a drug and alcohol problem? Yes. Definitely drug and alcohol problem. And they need the police need to step up with that with the actions. I don't smoke cigarettes. Alright, what's your name, your age and your occupation? Carrie <laughs> from Jug no. Kerry, my name is Kerry, my age is 27, and my occupation is a sal- No! Home duties! I'm home duties! I'm a mum. How do you feel about the term male rats? That's... Yeah. The term more, it's more rats, it's not male rats. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that name at all. That's it is. How do you feel as a female being in this area? <laughs> it's me, staunch. I'm alright. I'm alright. Yeah, I'm I'm like unisex. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Do you feel that? Do you feel that this place has a drug and alcohol problem? Yes. Do you feel? No. It, hope, uh, hypothetically, if I was to come here, come in here to buy drugs. To score. To score. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what. No. How easy would it be? Fucking um, right now, pretty easy. It's like, oh, about twelve. Come up to me. No, nah. you can you can school like that easy here. It's, it's ridiculous. Love you, Lee. Love you too. Yeah. Do you have any more personal? Do you have any personal experiences? Yes. Do you care to share? Of drugs. Oh, just drugs, the male, anything. I don't remember. <laughs> Um, the mall, there's very bubbly, happy people here, so it's good because you can come meet sometimes some good punch ups too. Uh, but it, it's a good place, and it's a, yeah, that's about it. But like, it, it's good here, and they've got to stop saying that they're all bad, like, because it's not. Do you have any actual stories you would like to share? No. Fuck no, I'll go to jail. I've been ca- I've been coming to the mall since I was like ten years old, so like it's it's just where you come to meet your friends, like have a coffee, but instead you just come to have a cigarette. But I'm out of work. My age is uh, 50, 58, and uh, no, nah, I'm out of work. And your name? Name's Mick. Do you have any interesting experiences that you would like to share with this area? I live on the streets. Uh, and the police harass us. How so? How so? Uh, in ways we don't don't deserve. They always move us on, you know. And uh, I think they don't like congr- people congregating, or they think you're drug dealing, or you know. Do you feel like this area has a drug and alcohol problem? This area does have a drug and alcohol problem. How so? How so? Yeah. Uh, well, 95% of the kids over there now are drinkers or drug users. 
you know, 90, like 98% I'd say. You know? Why would come in here hypothetically want you to buy drugs? Easy. Easy. Within, within a couple of minutes you know what you want. What up, what up, what up? Hey? I'm a movie star, I'm serious. The coppers are gonna pay. Alright, what would you like to know? What's your name and your age? My name is Anton Malik. I'm 41 years old. 46, 47 years old, I won't lie. Just turned 47. Um. Do you feel like this area has drug and alcohol problems? No. I reckon the area's got problems because the police don't manage the area properly. They don't know what they're doing, they're madmen. They don't get their heroin dealers, they pick on the chuff dealers. They've got a fucking problem because they're dealing the fucking drugs. That's a problem. They're the mafia, not the good cuts. They're the good cuts and the bad cuts, and the bad cuts are the good cuts. How does that work out? Any other questions, sir? How do you feel about the term Melrose? I used to be a more rat from the age of seven, I'm still in the mall. I'm a mole rat, what's wrong with that? Well, how do you feel about the term being used? I reckon it's excellent. I reckon we make a name for ourselves. Uh, considering you've been here so long, do you feel like the area has changed? It has. I own buildings here, I know. People lease from me. I own this town. I won't tell you how, but I own it. Any personal experiences about the area? I'll be back, just back. <laughs> Donna! 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 You alright? You alright? I'll wreck you. I'll wreck you in a spark off, idiot. I'll wreck you. I'll catch you. I'll catch you from here. Yeah? yeah? Fuck off, boy. Boy, boy, boy. 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 Fuck it, all these kids are today. All these kids are today. Darren Murphy's my name. I'm an acting senior sergeant charge of Geelong Highway Patrol, and I'm 43. Do you feel like this area has a drug and alcohol It certainly has some issues. Um, certain issues that us as a police force are trying to deal with at the moment, and we're trying to uh, stop drinking of alcohol in the streets and things like that, which, which people can't do. But um, it's certainly the drug issue as well. We're certainly trying to combat that as, as best we can. I think what we're trying to do at the moment is try and increase our police presence within the area and, um, and, and that to provide a, um, the members of the public walking through, things like that, that they feel safe, they feel secure and, and certainly to curb any of the illegal behaviours that do go on. And, and that's what we're trying to do at the moment. Matthew Hubbard, I'm 29 years old and I'm currently unemployed. Thank you. Uh, do you feel like this area has a drug and alcohol problem? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Bad. Bad. Um, but I think the problem isn't just so much the drugs and the alcohol, it's the connection people have to the drugs and alcohol, right? And their dependency, right? You can't be independent if you're codependent or you're drug dependent. And so the need for people to suppress and repress what it is they're feeling and thinking is because they're not being heard. No one listens. You know, like, but yeah, people just want the money. People want the false sense of power. They want the control. You know, if you can corrupt the youth of today, then they own the future. Do you have any personal experiences about the area that you want to share with us, like individual stories? There's not much I haven't done. Not much I haven't tried. I think all of life is about balance. All of it, internally, externally, and the chemical balance that people are using drugs, it's tipped the scales. You know, I think the whole world's bipolar. Sure, my name's Jamie, I'm 26, and I'm currently unemployed at the moment. Yeah, it is a lot of
Yeah. Yes, I do. Um, it depends on what area you're talking about. Yeah. Um, but certainly the poorer places, the poorer parts of Geelong and the Commission are certainly quite drug affected. Yeah, definitely. If I were to come in here, I'd have to buy drugs. Probably about eight out of ten. Um, there's actually, it's violence seems to be getting more significant. It seems to be more prevalent. I think, as far as I know, there's been a shooting in Geelong every day for the last two weeks at least. Um, so it's getting, you know, every, there's a lot more weaponry. People are actually carrying their own guns, etc., and using them too. Come on now. Excuse us. Um, um, for what? And this is this is the there's kind a of warrant out for me to try and to try and help. Four. Huh? To try and help. Right. They're going to put me back in dogs. hospital, mate. No fucking way they are. No fucking way they are. Over my dead body, they put me in hospital, mate. They want to put me in hospital on the sideboard. I'll put you in hospital, mate. No, it's not a joke. I'm not fucking going in there. Why? There's a warrant on me. Who? The coppers want to put me in hospital. Because you're too loud. I don't give a fuck. They're not putting me in there. Because he's too loud. No fucking power. They're not putting me in hospital. I've done 30 years in that hospital. No reason. I they could took be me off injections. They took me off the tablets. They're not putting me you back in there. You know what? They can't get you in jail, mate. Right? Because you've done your time, nothing, right? Jail. So what are they going to do? They're going to have you in a straitjacket, mate. That's right. That's what they're trying to do. They're you trying know how to kill the me. Only two days ago, Detroit to get out shot me on the news tonight. They pulled two guns on me in the taser. You tell them under the school. I don't. I had no arms. There's witnesses. There's. They're on camera. They're in big trouble. I'm going to, I'm going to channel 10 tonight. They're over there now. They're going there now. They can't touch me, you're on camera. You just saved my life. You saved my life, they're going on camera now. Hello, can't touch me now, can't shoot me now. Hello, I'm on camera. Hello, motherfuckers. You can't nearly shot me at Detroit, didn't you, can't? Two of you pulled a gun out on me. Two nights it's on camera now. No, I don't say so now, can't. You're all finished, can't, you're finished. But oh, I'll cut the swearing. You don't swear either, what, you don't swear? Motherfucker. Yeah, John.